Hello boaters, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're out at the lake with the awesome uh, Russian missile cruiser. This is the Udaloy. Uh, this was the first of the Udaloy class, uh, which served between uh, 1980, I think, and the mid 90s. Two of them are still in service, but the initial one that this boat is modeled after has long, been, uh, long since been decommissioned and sold for scraps, but an awesome, awesome uh, addition to the Bancroft lineup. This baby, uh, as of right now, is the second uh, largest, as far as length goes, uh, ship on our website in the Bancroft lineup. Only the Nimitz is one inch longer this way, and obviously an aircraft carrier is wider, but as far as length goes, she's almost 65 inches, which is just awesome, but she's only one 100th scale. So unlike the Nimitz at 200 scale, um, the features and the scale details are more pronounced on the Udaloy, which you can see all around uh, the decking and you know all the antennas um, whenever you get these Bancroft boats again you can go back to our unboxing video these come ready to run so you take this out of the box and it's pretty much you don't have to do hardly anything with this one I think we just had to put the flags on insert the crane which is its own little piece on the side and this helicopter this will lift right up and off but it gets uh placed on everything else is already done for you that's what's awesome uh, the hull is molded fiberglass inside and we'll show you that in a little bit you've got a dual motor system inside um, again you have a single rudder with a twin screw uh, so for the two for the two motors and it's very simple design with the transmitter that comes out all you're controlling is throttle forward and reverse on one side of the stick and your rudder left and right and um, as far as driving her around she looks really fantastic but we'll get there in a second I want to show you uh, the best thing one of the best things about this boat is um, the access you have to get inside. So there are four, uh, four parts of this, this top boat will lift off. So we'll start here at the front and work our way back. So when you need to add ballast to this boat, which I did, I have about close to 10 pounds of ballast inside uh, scattered throughout. A lot of it is in this keel bulb down here I put through, but this uh, allows you easy access to get, your, uh, to get the ballast up front. Um, no electronics up there you have to worry about. This second middle section lifts right off like so. And when you take a peek in there, you're gonna find your ESC and your receiver and your on and off switch are all mounted on the wall. And that's where I place my battery down here. So with these two, I can plug it in on either side, get access to my battery. Now this third, uh, second middle, if you will, third canopy is the one that you take off if you need access to your motors. You're gonna look right down in there. You're gonna see the two motors uh, with their heat shrinks on, heat sinks on. And um, you know, if you need to ever make any adjustments, you wanna grease the, the shaft, you wanna replace a motor, easy access there. And then last but not least, this entire back piece comes off as well, which is just super cool. Very easy, and again, just lifts right off, and you have easy access to your servo and your uh, control arm for the rudder. So if you ever have an issue here, again, easy access, but also you'll notice I do have some BBs uh, ballast in the back. I had some in the middle, and I had a lot in the front, all in this bulb. Um, when I set this down initially, just like this, this is how I took it um, when I was gonna ballast, when I put it down there, you'll find that this was barely even getting under the water. Um, it was almost floating up here. So it needed a lot more weight to the front. So out of the 10 pounds, I'd probably have half to maybe six, seven pounds of it up front here. But again, results may vary uh, when you come in, but that's, that's what worked for me. And now as far as driving it around, you're gonna see out there, um, you really, with all these ships, you wanna be about quarter throttle. So this is me just cruising around quarter throttle, um, and that's where it looks the most scale. You know, it's not supposed to go too fast. So as you drive it around, it's got good rudder control. Um, again, takes takes a little while for it to get turning, just as you'd expect this boat. So if you're gonna do it in a tighter space, just be wary, start your turn, turn before, or be ready to hit the reverse button. Because you see here, um, when you hit the reverse, perfect you know it, if anything it could slow you down like I was heading for that little yellow um, swimmers net thing there and I just was able to hit reverse back away from it uh, and get on now when you go half throttle you're gonna see it still looks good maybe you know this might be scale at full speeds I'm not too sure um, but then when you go full throttle here obviously you're never gonna do that in real life but uh, it wouldn't look this good but it drives well uh, at full throttle like I had no fear once once the ballast in there it floats really nicely and drove around really really beautifully 
All right, guys, and then putting all the pieces back on, it doesn't actually matter which one um, you put on first or last. None of them overlap. Some of the ships, um, they do, you know, will have parts that you gotta put one piece on before the other. But once you fit it in, get in there and just, you know, make sure when, when it's on, you'll know it's on because it won't shift anymore. Um, these are just held by the weight of, you know, their own, there's no magnets or anything that hold them down, but just line it up, get it on here. This one in the middle, you can tell there's broken spots where the, uh, where the fencing on the ship goes. So you can just line that up with the two pieces that, that come down and connect and boom, it's on there. And then last but not least, where our, one of our two big cannons are up front, that piece goes down there and you'd be ready to go. And uh, yeah, guys, the Udaloy, what more to say about it? An absolutely gorgeous ship, looks awesome on the water. And um, you know, if you wanna get it, you wanna head over to motionrc.com. Link is down below uh, in the description. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, leave them down below. I'll happily answer them for you. And um, as always, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC. Bye, guys.